Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be going over this IQ Nexus I got for Christmas. So I will be unboxing it, setting it up, and going over some of its features in the IQ software. This actually has two options, which you can mount it to your keyboard or it has a standalone option. I will be using the standalone option just because my keyboard does not work with it. So there are certain ones that do and mine is not. So I guess other than that, Let's begin. Okay, so what comes in the box? You get your pretty much your setup guide. Then you get your warranty guide, which I really don't really look at. You get your standalone base. You get a pry tool. I'm guessing this is used for these because they actually have these 3M sticker things on. These are the, I guess, the adapter part things you would connect to a keyboard. But since I'm not using my keyboard, since it won't work with it, I will just be using the standalone base. And then you get the IQ Nexus. Okay, so to set up the Nexus, it's actually really simple. I already went and plugged it into the back of my computer. In the back of the standalone base, there is a USB plug. And then on the bottom, there are two little clips right here and right here that hold the Nexus in the place. So all you gotta do is pretty much line the little clip thing or slots pretty much on the Nexus into there. But first I would plug in the USB and then you kind of just slide it down in. So just like that, tuck that cord back, just like that. Okay, so after you have your Nexus all hooked up, what you want to do is you want to go into the Corsair IQ software. If you don't have this, you can get it straight from their website, but you're going to need this to set up all your buttons, your widgets for the Nexus. So as you can see, it shows it right here. So let's click on this. This did have a home page, like an original one, but I accidentally deleted it. So <laughs> I was actually able to go online and find a replacement background image and stuff like that. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna show is creating a new page. So there's a little plus arrow here. And then I'm just gonna call this my home page for now. And then this is where you would add your background. As you can see, I was able to find three of them. So I'm just gonna pick this middle one and then create. And then it actually shows the graphic on the Nexus and it shows it in the app, which is very nice. And as you can see, it actually shows six slots for buttons, but you can actually change the size of that when you actually go to set it up. So I am actually gonna make a widget first for my GPU. Like I was saying, here's where you can change the size of that button so first things first let's make a widget for my gpu's temperature and then i'm going to change this to pretty much what it is rtx 2060 and then i'm going to make it green for a video just because and as you can see it actually shows it up here it shows what the current temperature is and i think it's celsius so as you can tell, it's actually really easy to set up widgets and stuff like that. And then the other option you can do is you can make a button to launch certain apps. Some work, some don't, from what I noticed. So like I was saying, you can change the size and then you click here for your assignment. And let's see, let's do launch app. I'm just gonna do calculator because it won't mess all this up. And as you can see, you can come down here, change your button name or change the background or even change the little icon that's there. Just pick something random. And that is it. So when I actually click on the Nexus, it should pop up my calculator. Yep, just like that. And like I was saying before, some programs work, some don't. I actually tried using a launcher thing for Fortnite and it did not work. And then I notice it doesn't even show like Streamlabs or OBS. So maybe that's something that's going to come down in the future, but I don't know. 
Okay, as you can see, I actually made a few more widgets for other temperatures and stuff like that. Actually, CPU is the load. But if I wanted to, I can move stuff around very simply. And this is pretty much the main reason I wanted this thing is I just wanted to be able to monitor my temperatures and that without actually running a background program. Of course, their app actually runs for pretty much most of my stuff for my computer anyway, so it was actually more of a convenience. So. So that's going to be it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. And I guess that's it for now. So, bye.